Good morning. It's coffee time. It's raining outside this morning, so we didn't get outside walking. Oh, let me turn the light on. Here's what we're having in our coffee. Keto greens and tropic. I'm gonna have to get something to put this in because my bag won't close properly. Eight drops. Grab the coffee. All right, there you have it. Hey, you guys. It's about 11.16 a.m. Today is supposed to be an OMAD day. And I'm already hungry. So I'm just like muscling it, white knuckling it through my day. Um, I need to run out and go to the store and get something like a, a beef uh, chuck eye steak to eat. Because... Um, I do have a little bit of my uh, tomahawk steak left, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh, so when I eat, I'm gonna wanna eat a big meal. <laughs> Trying to wait till the afternoon, but golly, you guys. Ugh, the OMAD days are kicking my butt. So I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and eat early at noon. I'm gonna turn the grill on because I'm gonna cook some, um, Grill some lamb chops really quick and a couple hamburger patties. <laughs> yeah, so the hunger is just getting the best of me. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat. And uh, then I'll just skip dinner. And that'll be that. So let me show you guys what I've got on the grill right now. It's about uh, 12 o'clock and I just could not wait for my lunch today. So here, let me show you. Some pork belly and some lamb chops. Now I've still got that smoke pack and it's definitely smoking. So I cook this for a little bit and then we're going to eat. For some reason today is just a very hungry day and I'm like, okay, so it's supposed to be an OMAD. Um, and I want to do the OMAD, but I just don't want to wait. <laughs> Usually if I do OMAD, I'll eat dinner. But today it's definitely going to be lunch because I'm tired of waiting. I hope everybody's having a great day. Let me show you guys the lake. There it is. So um, I did not get out and walk this morning because uh, it was raining. So I'll definitely get out and walk a little in a little while. Uh, after work, probably I'll walk a little bit. Um, I gotta run over to my mom's this afternoon. Had to take the dog in the house because he just keeps barking. There's neighbors outside and he just is a noisy boy. So anyway, my husband's throwing me a birthday party and the family's coming over. He's gonna grill and um, my stepdad is going to make a brisket and some barbecue ribs so that should be really good and uh then they're gonna have whatever sides they want and i'm just gonna enjoy all the meats so friday's gonna be like a second birthday for me because i just had my birthday on monday so anyway i'm just uh cooking this up and then i gotta get back to work and so let me finish this up and i'll see you guys later so someone in my comments had mentioned that they think that every time I eat smoked meats, I get itchy hands. So um, I'm going to test this out because I didn't take that smoke packet off the grill. 
Uh, and so these lamb chops will be smoked and also the um, pork belly that I'm cooking will be smoked. So we'll try it out in the morning time. I'll let you guys know how it went. But yeah, so um, that was an observation. So let's just test the theory. Okay, I just pulled these lamb chops off the grill. The pork belly's still cooking a little bit longer, but these are ready to roll. This is how it looks. I already took a bite. Mm mm mm. So good. Delicious. Show you guys how this looks. I'm just pulling these off. They look super good. I've never had them cooked this way. But there's a first time for everything. They look super good. Turn this off. We are on our way back inside. And the only thing that would make that better is a little bit of barbecue sauce. Oh man, so good. I might put some hot sauce on it. Okay, I'm fixing my plate. This is the one that I cut already. I actually have three, three lamb chops and then I'm gonna have two of these strips of pork belly. Um, and this is gonna be my one meal. I have. I have one more uh, lamb chop if I need it, and uh, and you know I've got some um, one hamburger patty in the refrigerator that I cooked yesterday. So this is what I'm intending to have for my OMAD day. Hey friends, <laughs> it's about uh, one o'clock I think. Yeah, I think it's around one o'clock. One, one o'clock or one thirty. Let me look at that. Yep, it's one thirty. I'm outside walking. So what happened was, today is an OMAD day. And uh, so I got so hungry. Like around, around 10, 11 o'clock, I started like obsessing like, okay, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. So finally I decided that I was just gonna go ahead and have my meal uh, for lunch. So I grilled some uh, lamb chops and I grilled some pork belly. And uh, so I ate that, I had two lamb chops. It's those big ones that are like this size. Um, and then I had the couple slices of pork belly everything with hot sauce all over it then i had the rest of my tomahawk steak uh so basically uh after i ate that food i got so sleepy so sleepy oh my gosh so i said okay either you're gonna have to go upstairs and lay down or you're gonna have to go out ahead and go outside and walk so I decided to get up and go outside and take a 20 minute walk because I didn't have my walk this morning because it was raining. Uh, and so here we are outside walking and talking. I didn't bring Doc with me because Doc is crazy. <laughs> He's too wild. When I'm walking with Doc, I need to be completely focused on walking the dog, you know. Um, I have to focus on him so that I can make sure I catch him before he goes into these attacks, like he wants to attack something. Did I tell y'all he bit me? He was bark, bark, barking. I grabbed his mouth and he bit me. So, well, sir. Is that how you treat me? So, he just gets so ramped up. I need to like 
I wish I could afford to take him to daycare every day so he could run around and play and get all of his energy out. But we can afford that. Not me. I'm not rich. <laughs> but I, um, I actually today would have been the day for me to take him because usually Wednesday would be the day. But they raised the prices a little bit and I'm like, I need to buy a package because it's just to do one day is just too expensive. So I'm not going to do that. I have to buy a package. So I had kind of messed up my uh, eating days this week with my birthday. I switched it around and make it a regular eating day. And then Tuesday, which was supposed to be a lean day, I made that also a regular eating day. So today I said, I have to do my, I really needed to do my um, OMAD day. I just really needed to do it. If I really want to achieve my goals, I need to really do what I said I was going to do. So force myself to do an OMAD day today. Now, I think tomorrow is supposed to be a regular eating day. I'm debating on whether to make that a lean day because I did not have a lean day early in the week. So, or maybe I'll just go back to whatever the paper says, you know. If the paper says tomorrow's a lean day, I'll do that. Or if the paper says a regular eating day, I'll do that. Anyway, I wanna make sure that I have two lean days in a week so with today being Wednesday, tomorrow really should be a lean day. Um, I need to go to the store and get some sardines because I'm out of the sardines that, that I like. I don't like those little slimy ones. I know some people like that. I might need to like make that into something like a ketogenic woman has a recipe for a sardine salad um, that might be good for those little those little slimy ones she also does fry those up so that might be a good uh, application for for those anyway I don't know um, I think I'm gonna get out and go to the store after I get off work today and run and pick up you know some sardines and whatever else I need for my lean day tomorrow. Um, this morning I did feel better as far as my inflammation is concerned. Uh, you know, yesterday I told you that I woke up and I could feel the inflammation. I could feel it in my feet and I could just feel, I felt heavier uh, and I was. So um, it's coming off. It's definitely coming off. And uh, I was back down to like 151 point something this morning. Well, hello. <laughs> it's a neighbor dog. I'm walking past. He doesn't really like it. Actually, there's two dogs in there. Let me let you see. like a little bulldog, some kind of bulldog, I would say. The second dog's quiet. Yeah. So I'm glad that I decided to get up and go outside instead of just going in, going to bed, which was really actually quite tempting. Oh, I was going to tell you guys about my CPAP. So I was telling you that uh, in yesterday's video, I said, that my CPAP was registering like 2.7 uh, incidents per um, hour, which is high for me right now. Like, you know, used to be I was doing having like 11, 12, you know, a, a higher number, but now I have been having like less than one per hour for the most part. So when I saw that 2.7, I was like, oh, okay. So I definitely have some inflammation going for sure. So this morning, 
when I woke up and looked at my CPAP, it said 1.7. So whatever's going on with that inflammation definitely, you know, went down. And I most definitely need to like drink more water. Yesterday I didn't drink very much water at all. So um, I definitely need to make sure that I drink more water. Uh, and I just, I literally do not know what caused that bout with inflammation um, night before last. I had a perfectly carnivore day. Um, I did bring back in eggs um, because I just was like, you know, I'm like, why am I keeping eggs out? <laughs> and I brought back in pork. Because I, I was just like, you know, hey, why am I making myself suffer? You know? So, um, as I think about what I'm planning to do for the month of August, I think it's going to be a combination of more fasting days and um, more fasting days and regular eating. So um, I know back in the day when I used to do fasting with Jason Fung's group, um, you know, they had groups that did various fasting regimens uh, through, you know, every week they would have a regimen they were gonna do. So it would be like, you know, an eating day and then a fasting day, like a uh, alternate day fast. Um, or that you could start the week with like a 72 hour fast or a 36 hour fast, do two 42 hour fasts in a week. So I might do something like that um, to kind of kickstart my metabolism. Well, I'm kickstarting it now, but to keep it revving, I clearly uh, did need to reduce my overall consumption because, like I said, I speed up a little bit. I got 10 minutes to get back. Um, I needed to reduce my overall consumption, obviously, because I lost 20 pounds literally within the first few months of being on carnivore and then basically was stuck between 150, I think the lowest I got down to was 147. And then, you know, kind of fluctuated between 150 and 155 for months and months and months. So definitely was in a stall. Definitely was in a stall. So obviously I was eating too much. My friend Giselle G. Brown told me she thought I was eating too much. My husband, he told me he thought I was eating too much. I'm like, carnivores can eat however much they want. Eat to satiety. But the problem and I'll tell you the problem. The problem is years of yo-yo dieting have really messed up my satiety signals. Like, I can't, I can eat a lot of food. And um, I cannot, I mean, I can tell when I'm full, but hmm, I will eat beyond satiety. Definitely. So I want to be full, full stuffed. Well, I appreciate these people not running me over. I'm out here on a, it's not really a busy, busy street, but it's one of those, you know, like 55 miles an hour side roads. <laughs> anyway, I can eat a lot of food. And so as it turns out, my friend was right. My husband was right. I was eating too much overall, and that's probably why my weight was stuck where it was for so long. So, there it is. 
I had to reduce my overall consumption. And I stopped tracking. I mean, I haven't really been tracking every day. I was tracking every day for a while, but lately I have not been tracking. Um, so that's one of the things that like, part of the commitment that I made, my, made to myself for the month of July was to track everything in my fitness pal. And I just didn't do that part. As you guys, if you know me, you know, I'm like, uh, I don't want to be, you know, obsessing over what I'm eating. A tracking feels like obsession. So I do it here and there sporadically. If I want to know how many macros or whatever I had, then I'll go ahead and track them. Otherwise, I'm good. What I'm doing is working. So that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So yesterday I put out a video and as part of my daily video, I talked a little bit about emotional and hormonal aspect of eating food. And the question that I have for you guys today is, are you able to indulge in certain things? Like, you know, with it being summer right now in the United States of America, there's lots of summer fruits that are available um, coming in season. I mean, in the spring we have strawberries. Right now it's like blueberries and I think probably cherries if they're not already in, they're coming in pretty soon apples and um, uh, melons will be coming soon. Like I think watermelon is probably coming in season right now. So are you a person who can indulge in that stuff? Or are you a person who has to, must abstain? Uh, because I feel like, um, I have to abstain because I have just, you know, over the course of all these years of yo-yo dieting, trying every diet, every diet that I knew about under the sun, I tried it. And I was good at dieting, but I was not good at maintaining. So, you know, I did do maintaining for like five years on keto. Keto was the truth. It was really, really good to me for five years. But then I started allowing these indulgences, you know, giving myself permission to have this or that here and there. Uh, you know, and like I said yesterday, ultimately, ultimately it was the sweet corn. Corn is my nemesis. Corn is my nemesis, my nemesis. And uh, I can't handle it. So, um, the question is, are you a person who can allow yourself to have these summer fruits? Um, and do you have any adverse reaction to it? Or maybe you don't have an immediate adverse reaction to it, but you find yourself craving it again and again. Uh, so you have one today and then tomorrow you have another one and then, you know, suddenly you find yourself back to where you started. <laughs> I always say I turn around and two years later and I turn around two years later and I'm right back where I started. And I just refuse to do that again this time. So many amazing things have happened in my body and in my mind. And I just am afraid to risk it, to be honest. I'm afraid to risk it. 
because I know what has happened to me time and time and time again. So, for the moment, I am not willing to incorporate any of those things back in. Now, things that I will allow is um, once I get through July, through the month of July, I'll be bringing back in my Redmond Real Salt Season Salt. Um, I can't have pepper because pepper causes inflammation for me. So, and it causes like, uh, you know, the funny thing, you know, the person who was mentioning to me about the smoked meats may be right because I did notice last night as I was going to bed that my, my nose was plugged on one side, this side, the left side. So that is the same thing that had happened the night before was my nose was plugged on one side. Um, so we're going to find out. I'm going to really pay attention today because I had that my lamb was smoked and my um, pork belly. And I'll let you guys know if it, you know, tonight when I get ready to go to bed, do I have a stuffy nose? And tomorrow morning, do I have itchy hands? So, I hope not because my stepdad is the smoke master and I definitely don't want to have to give up smoked brisket. We're at Walmart. Just stopping in here to pick up some sardines. For my lean day tomorrow. So I don't generally prefer to go to Walmart, but it's close to my mom's house where I was just at. So I'm just going to stop in here, pick up a couple things, and uh, that'll be that. As it turns out, I will not be picking up any sardines because um, most of what they had was in oil and everything else was in um, was, uh, those little bitty ones and I don't like those so I guess I'm going to have to look online see if I can find some. So um, for tomorrow's lean day, we're going to go with shrimp and um, maybe I got some canned salmon and some tuna fish. <laughs> 